This is not for your bra, <laughs> by the way. Hey guys, welcome to Crash Test Beauties. I'm Kim. I'm Karen. And today we're going to be trying out these silicone makeup brushes. So we've all watched these videos reviewing the Silly Sponge versus the Beauty Blender. I don't know what team you're on, but I personally find it really annoying that I have to wet the Beauty Blender each time, and I don't enjoy cleaning it either. So we're really excited to try these out. These are 100% um, silicone, so they don't absorb any product, so you're not wasting any of your $50, $60, $40, $10 foundation. <laughs> um, and they're easier to clean. Um, so what I use to apply my makeup usually is a beauty blender. I use a beauty blender too because it's versatile and it's easy, I think, to use. Um, and for my eyeshadow, I use a big blending brush. But with eyeshadow, I apply it with a variety of brushes. So we bought this set online. It was $11.99, which is way cheaper than any one brush that I've ever yeah. owned. Um, and more than 50% of the reviews gave it five stars. So we have pretty high hopes for this. All right, let's try it. Let's do this. Now we're gonna apply primer to start. And usually I do primer with just my hands, but for the sake of today, we're gonna test it out using these brushes. Um, when I use my primer, I usually use my hands to use it. So I'm not using a brush, so I don't feel like I'm wasting a product. Yeah, I thought I put a little bit of primer on my hand, but once I put it on my face with this brush, it became a lot more than I thought it was gonna be. I, I'm not rubbing it in, I'm like dabbing it, and it looks like it's absorbing. Yeah. Which is kind of surprising. This is fun, it feels nice. <laughs> I like like the feeling of my fingers like pushing in the product, and so this just like felt I was like slapping silicone. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna use the foundation, but I'm gonna apply with the brush, mm -hmm. and then try to like blend with this thing. Okay. Oh, I know. I'm gonna try this. Oh, right. Oh if my that's gosh. not working, let's try this. Jean, God, you with your genius ideas. It's not painful, but it's not like a pleasant. Oh, you're feeling. being a baby. <laughs> This really is turning out much better than I expected, to be, on, to be honest. And it's taking a lot longer. I would rather waste product than time, I think. All right, so I'm gonna use this one now. It's a smaller brush, and I'm gonna try to use it to get into like the smaller areas, like under my eyes and right where my nose meets my face. I do like how this applied concealer under my eye. I didn't hate that. Did not hate the concealer portion. But I'm gonna start on my brows. They don't look too bad, no? Probably out of all the brushes we've used so far, this one has been the best experience. I'm not loving this. It, I feel like it's moving the pomade around. Yeah, it kind of gets stuck on one, like mine was like stuck on one side. Oh yeah, no, I'm fine. I'm just gonna cut my losses where I'm at with yeah, the Yeah, I think this is truly as good as it's gonna get. Um, we're using um, an eyeshadow by The Bomb for our transition shade, so we're just gonna lay this down as base. I feel like my eyeshadow got blended really well. I think this brush didn't do too bad. It packed on the color pretty well. Blending was okay. Surprisingly well for what it is though. This is really nice. I'm not 100% disappointed with this. Now we're gonna use, I think, these two guys. So contour and blush. So um, because it's a contour stick, I'm just gonna go ahead and, oops, put it on. Wait, on three, ready? ASMR. <laughs> I, I actually really like how this blended out. I think these brushes, um, the efficiency and effectiveness of them is highly dependent on the consistency of the product that you're using. I mean, aside from pigments, I feel like pigments were oh, good. Yeah, pigments. Like a waxy product or a powder product, you, may run into some issues. Um, so the creamier, silkier, the easier it sort of goes on, the sort of tackier or drier the product is, the more it's gonna sort of stick to places in your face and it's not gonna be as smooth. Oh. <laughs> Rule of thumb, don't poke your eyeball with this stuff. I'm gonna be using that um, angle brush we used earlier for our eyebrows and see how it goes with eyeliner. It seems like it's all sticking on the brush, like it's not really coming off well. 
putting it on your actual eye. It's kind of tugging and like coming out a little clumpy. So now we're gonna move on to our lips. It's working great to outline. I like that you can get really precise with this. It's just kind of hard to use this brush with this kind of a product. I feel like with Katie's lipstick, it's probably a lot, a lot easier. I really like how precise this brush is. So I was very pleasantly surprised. I don't know about you, but I kind of went into it like, they're not gonna work. I had such high hopes, but I think just given the type of products that I use, that there's a mixture of liquid and powder and the stick, it's just not blending the, the three consistencies as nicely as I wanted it to. I think these are sanitary and they're easy to clean, which is my favorite part about them. Everything else, it took longer, it was hard to blend. I don't think my makeup turned out as good as it usually does, so I'm not super impressed with them. But I could see for particular products like creams and like these pigments, they're super good for though. I think the worst thing for me was when you try to layer another product on top of it, the brush would pick up the past product. My favorite was probably the little detailed brush though, and I would use that again. I personally would not convert to the silicone makeup brushes. I'm pretty happy with my routine. And yes, it does probably take more product, but it takes less time, and the end result is a lot prettier, I think. I don't think I would convert my entire routine to silicone makeup brushes, but I wouldn't mind buying a few of them. This set was $11.99, that's 12 bucks. That's like cheaper than most brushes. Right. So, you know, if you get three products that work for you out of this, then I feel like you kind of scored. So let us know in the comments if you guys are gonna try these brushes out and then let us know what you want to see us try next. Thank you guys so much for watching us try out these silicone makeup brushes. Bye!